the suburban match the vert on some twin shit. Yeah. Easy money when I rages on my paint job. Yeah. From the rooter to the tutor, all my whips hard. Yeah. Hit the block and show my ass, I feel like Big Roy. Oh, nah. <laughs> Uh, this ain't a don't, this a vert, get your facts right Took this bitch off the frame, yeah, it costs a little cheddar, but I'm papered up I just parked a nigga mortgage in my driveway I can barely hit the gas and it gets sideways The suburban match the vert on some twin shit Easy money when I rages on my paint job From the rooter to the tutor, all my whips hard Hit the block and show my ass, I feel like Big Rod Gold roaches on my caddy bump, it's sugar free Gold 30s on my Hummer, big like Shaq feet Gold roaches on my vet, had them hoes wet I get bored and get the splurge and I don't try to flex <laughs> Left the money, Carlos stock for the fuck up the fuck Redid up. the cutty, but don't drive it cause I'm sick of I'm sick Built up. my wife at El Camino, her shit running too Ooh. That 76 Camaro running out of shit to do nah. The first nigga in my city to propose on the wagon I'm a Detroit nigga, I can't help it <laughs> That 96 and pile of pressure, I had bought it just because I ain't had shit to do, I guess I'm extra <laughs> I get plenty money, bae, I feel like plies now Plies, Fuck man. around and make me mad, I break the rim <laughs> Fuck around and make me mad, I get up in my bag I pull a nigga car, got me feeling like Big Rock. You too, what it do? It's Big Rock Chevy coming to you with a, another video, another video. Yes, sir, with another video. I think I got the camera thing back locked down tight now. I think, I think we good. I think we good, man. I think the, the, the first video I uploaded after getting my computer squared away, man, uh, I didn't have it in 4K, so it's when you get that little fuzzy look at by the time I caught it, man, I already had views going up, so I ain't want to just interrupt the viewing process, man, and take it down and then put it back up. But, you know, the next one I posted, though, it, it was back in 4K. So I think we should be good, ladies and gents. I think we should be good. So today, man, we in, uh, we in the Dooley, man. Uh, we finna get ready to check on the bills. The first stop, man, we finna head to B&H Automotive. Uh, I got to run to the city anyway, and then it's a spot in the city, man, that does trucking, uh, that has uh, truck equipment and stuff like that, so uh, I'll be by there, I'm going to go by there and uh, check and see what these bed covers, I've been getting different prices, uh, tried to go by Saturday, but the places were closed that I needed to go by, so uh, I said I'll catch them on Monday, man, so uh, that's going to be the game plan for the day, man, check on these builds, uh, had another little or, a little order sheet come through, man, from my, from my mechanic, my LS guy. He uh, sent me the little order, the little order sheet what we needed uh, for the Monte Carlo um, part should be in for the for the grand for the Grand Ville to go and finish it up. Like I said, I'm ready for it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready for it. Real talk. It need to go on to the next phase. Uh, finna jump on the phone with the. Uh, with the paint body man, it's gonna, we finna go on and start make, setting up the trip to get ready to uh, take the uh, Corvette on up the paint body. You know, and just to be on the safe side, uh, it all depends on really how it play out. Uh, you know, Big Rod Chevy man, I got a two car hauler. Henceforth, while we while we push forward with the dually, um, if it's opening, is he got a, if he got to open it continually big enough? And I can make that time frame. I might take the El Camino and the vet at the same time and drop both of them off and go and let them get sprayed. Yep, it all depends on pretty much, man, how is how is time frame working out. So we'll check and see how that works, man, and then we'll go from there. So um, let's see what else we got. Somebody asked me about Mr. Freeze. Am I completely done with Mr. Freeze? Uh, if I do anything else to Mr. Freeze, man, it'll probably be the music. I kind of want to, you know, I might do a different setup on the music. But I, uh, yeah, but I, I really ain't, to be honest with you, I, we got so many other projects, Chevy team, man. I really don't want to fool with Mr. Freeze right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I think we're gonna leave Mr. Freeze alone right now. We gonna put new 30s on Mr. Freeze, new tires. We just stepped up the game on the, uh, the on the running boards. So that's all 100 on them. Uh, yeah, that'll be the next thing I, I mess with with Mr. Freeze. I possibly would do the interior, but it's not a need. You know what I'm saying? If I did the interior, you, you know what I'm saying? It'd be really just being extra with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause the interior really straight in it for real. Uh, 
driver's seat is the only the only seat in the truck to show any kind of wear and it ain't like it's wore out you know what i'm saying it ain't cracked all up but you know what i'm saying uh i definitely go get a shampoo i'm gonna get a shampoo out cleaned up and i'm gonna do that probably before the before winter hit you know what i'm saying just take it and let get a hot steam shampoo get all the you know all that stuff off your floor like i say i'm i'm ocd when it comes down to cleaning up these cars man it's a i can't help it but uh but yeah, that's gonna be the game plan for the day. Uh, I'm finna go pick pick my son up from from his friend's house, man, and uh, take him. And uh, when I get to the city, gonna drop him off. He gotta get his get his dress redone. And then I know y'all looking at uh, Big Rod Chevy here. Y'all like, dang, what you gonna do? Yeah, don't worry, my appointment tomorrow. <laughs> Mine is tomorrow, mañana. So yeah, but uh, that's the game plan. That's the game plan for real, man. We gonna uh, check on these bills and stuff like that. Get everything squared away. See what see what we at on them. We call this boy. See what. You get mad if I turn it off. Hello. Come on, man. I'm out here. Hey. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's what that's gonna be the game plan for the day. Um, gonna check on some stuff, man. Uh, over the, you know, you know, you know, I got, I got a, got a look, man. So, um, I even had some some people jump in the comments. They was like, "You going thirties on it?" Uh, on the dually, you know what I'm saying? This the thing. I want to go 30s on it. You know, I want to go 30s on it, but I bought this to tow. I don't want to put nothing on here that's going to prohibit me. You know what I'm saying? I was watching uh, 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 you, uh, YouTube the other day. I was watching, um, who was that? Uh, who was that? Uh, one of the YouTubers on on a uh, on YouTube, he had um, put his wheel. He had put some wheels on the vehicle, and this one of his vehicles that he used to tow with. And while he on the highway, he then bent the rim. You know what I'm saying? I don't need them type problems. I do not need them type problems. And and you elected. That I mean you signed up for these problems. Cause Roger, I can tow on what I'm what I'm riding on and not had no problems. So if I'm gonna upgrade and go to some wheels, man, like my partner, man, uh, he got a setup right now, man. He got a set of 28s on his dually. He got a GMC, and uh, but he running a different type tire. I ain't never even seen this kind of tire before in my life. But uh, but it's like an off road tire. But it but he pulls a two car hauler as well. You know what I'm saying? And it enables him to be able to get out and get about. So, um, that's what I'll probably be looking up a setup like that. But, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just stay tuned, man. We're going to see how the day unfold. All right, YouTube. So, we back out here, man. We, uh, so we got El Chapo over here, man. We, we did get the piece in that we was looking for. It came in, uh, over the weekend, so... So we can go and get it squared away. Uh, yeah, we're finna go and get back at it. So we can go and get it squared away. Get this cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? I had to get them fittings the right way, man. So they can fit in. They got to go in. So we can charge the AC up. So we got that part squared away. Got that part squared away, so that'll be all that need to be done for that. Yep, that all need to be done for that. Got the fitting back here in the shop. Then we gonna go and uh, I'm gonna run to the little parts store, man, and uh, to the truck the truck store up here and see what we got going on. Y'all already know what's coming up next. Well. 
Y'all already know what's coming up next. Bam, bam. Y'all already know what's coming up next. So, but yeah, we got the park, came in. Probably jump on him. I told him, man, uh, we'll jump on him tomorrow. He had a couple of, couple of uh, bigger projects in front of him. I'm finna show y'all. So we got the fit. Came in on the weekend, so we good to go now, baby. Good to go. Good to go. Bam. Another one knocked down. But when I say he got bigger projects to do, eh, he got bigger projects to do. Big dog, what'd he say, what'd he, say he gonna do with that motor? Shit, that nigga from Florida finna come get For real? Send the 500. Hey, no, no, I got this. My master might buy it. Name Roger. Sell that motor, man. Money up. The motor and trans? He taking both of them out? Yep. Damn. Damn. But the hard with something else. That land ain't real small, boy. That land ain't real small. We're gonna, re we're gonna replace the motor. We got something to replace it. Stand up. You say I'm drinking. I'm sweating. Y'all see what I said? They got big. They got bigger jobs. I'm gonna be a cop by the state. I'm gonna be coming out of there now. Shit, we can, we, can, we can go ahead and pull out and come on out with it. What's that motor that is right there? Pull out. No, no, no. 455. 455. Automobile. Yeah. Oh, no Yeah, man. We're going ahead and jump back at it. Finna get ready to head to the uh, to the trucks to the truck uh, the truck store, man. I need to get a bed cover for the dude. Y'all stay tuned. 
Yeah, so he told me ready to pick up. I just ain't been in no hurry to pick it up. Uh, so y'all see it still sitting up there. He got it fixed and ready. I just ain't been in no hurry to pick it up, to be honest with y'all. I'll be up here at the wild, man. I'm coming through to get my damn hitch, though. So what? Yeah. I'll be up here at the wild, man, get my hitch and stuff off of it. But yeah. It is for sale. It is completely fixed. Brand new tires on it, so y'all can see. all the way around don't ever have step I always put them good meats on all the way around all up in there she do got the fifth wheel got the bed bed cover on it got a tear on that bed cover though for real I can't remember how what happened to her had a little tear on that little bed cover whole bed cover good there's just something poked through there right there and they said they got a thing that fixed this like a patch or something over it I really wasn't worried about it. But uh paint on the truck about about a, about a year and a half. A year and a half? About a year and a half, folks. But you know what I'm saying? She is on the chopping block. On the chopping block. So y'all know what it is. Y'all jump in the comments. Y'all know somebody looking for it. You know what I'm saying? You know somebody looking for it. AC, see what it is. Let me try to run it down for y'all. Motor been built, transmission been built, rear end been built. Upgraded, uh, upgraded turbo. New tire, brake rotor all the way around. New AC. Apple Bluetooth radio. Stereo, mids, highs, tweets. Door pods. The works, man. Subs. All that. All that. So. Y'all jump in the inbox, man. Let me know. Jump in them comments. Y'all know somebody looking for a good F-350. I say, I just can't do Ford no more. You know what I'm saying? It might do better for somebody else. Maybe if it wasn't because of me and who I am. If I want Big Rod Chevy, it might, it might, do, it might do all right with me. But... Uh, I do got the uh, fa I do got the, the factory hood too. This truck came factory it was burgundy, so the hood is still burgundy. I put the new, the new, the big dog hood on it, the cow induction on it. That's what I did with it. You know what I'm saying? And then I put changed out the grill, put the new grill with the LED light bar all the way around. The LED lights, top bottom, light bar at the bottom. I said she'll go now. She'll go. But uh, y'all stay tuned. Look like we're trying to get a little work done today.
Always some work going on. Always some work. But that's what we like, man. It's called motion. Time to get these cars up. Gotta get them running. Gotta get them moving. Y'all stay tuned, man. Bring new everything on this motherfucker. Got them dingo boater mouse on that motherfucker. Burn new talk fur. You gotta take them back off. <laughs> Brand new oil paint. Corner busted. Corner bathroom. All right, go get one of them black things over there. I'm gonna set it on there. Corner show, ain't it? So, uh, we did go with a 5.3. LS. What is that? Brand new air thing on it? Brand new, brand new air thing. Brand new torque converter. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see it off in now. Yeah. Brand new. Built, 4L60, built. Refresh it back up. Clean it back up. Clean it back up. Get everything right. Wait, y'all get a block? Just gonna get ready to go down. Getting this work. Stay tuned. All right, fellas. So we in the store, man. Up here, man, we was looking at a couple of the different bed covers, man. I didn't, I know I definitely, I, this is the one that uh, 2500 had on it. The, uh, the black 2500 we had, they had the, uh, the rolling lock. You know what I'm saying? It kind of just unlock like that. It, it goes all the way up. And then you got the cord right there that you, you snatch it back with. So, I was really doing that, but, you know what I'm saying, they don't make this one, they don't make this one, this one right here, what they got uh, on the eight foot bed for 3,500. They kind of make this one. They make it, but they got this one, work, but it got a vinyl top over it. A vinyl top like this right here. But it has that material under it, but the vinyl top. But this one, the retract, they make this one for an eight foot bed. You know what I'm saying? And you kind of just, uh, you have to walk along the side of it. You know what I'm saying? And just roll it all the way up. When you get all the way up to the top, and then when you get through with it, you roll it all the way back down. But you can set it in wherever you want to, and you know, you know what I'm saying? And, and then it'll lock in wherever you set it at. So I got a choice between that one and the rolling lock with, with the vinyl on it. You know, it's the only thing with that vinyl, like y'all see on my F-350, you see where it's tore at that point, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't want nothing to tell. So I'm probably end up rolling with this one. Y'all, y'all gonna see it. It still ain't cheap, man. You know what I'm Y'all see it. That's for this one right here. But if, he said it'd be about 200 bucks cheaper if I went with this one, with the vinyl. See? That's one with the vinyl on it right there on that picture. You know what I'm saying? They just got the vinyl on top of this. But this is up under the vinyl. You know what I'm saying? And then, you roll, and then you still got the cord that you can pull. Pull that to you and lock it. So, so I got some pamphlets and stuff on it, man. I'm going to read up on them, man. See what we got going. And then uh, we're going to come back up here, man, and get us some... Uh, Get us a bed cover for this thing. They got a ton of stuff over here, bro. I'm just trying to make it a monster truck. All right. Yeah. All right, thank you. And you said no, most of the, either one of them that I've, uh, they can probably, you probably can get them the next day. Yeah, just so give I, us a call. So I will, like, I will come pay for it tomorrow and then the next day you guys could have it. Well, you can pay for it after we put it on and we know everything works. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. you All right. Yes, ma'am. So, that's what we're going to probably end up doing, fellas. They go with 2500 Ain't a, ain't a hot country, but she an HD. Yeah, you got to have the meats in the back, though. So that's what we looking like, ladies and gents. We're gonna, probably, we're gonna make us a move. Probably one day this week for real. We don't get this squared away. Yep, probably gonna make us a move for real. We don't get this squared away. Uh, yep. So man, uh, 
one other spot I'm gonna check too when I get back home, man. Get back closer to home. We'll check another spot. Uh, and it's called H and H. We'll check them, see what they got. Y'all stay tuned, man. All right. We up here, man. Another fab, man. They got everything finished up on the wing. So grind it down, so you over. Look like a piece of nickel, don't it? and all of that the frame and all that is already sent the powder coating so we're just waiting on all that stuff to come back then we're finna get ready to uh seam this up and then uh we're gonna paint the inside of it man everything going good like i said we got motion on everything all the wheel work the metal work almost done like i said we gotta put gotta do the door handles and then uh the bumpers. They'll probably have that done this week, hopefully. But, um, yeah. Uh, we got motion, man. We got motion on these bills, everything. You see, every, it's a good day when you got a day full of motion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why they're tired. Ooh. You talking about somebody gonna be hauling ass? Ooh. Y'all stay tuned, though. All right, YouTube. So, I didn't get a chance to go by H&H, uh, &H, man. I'm going to try to hit them up tomorrow, man, so I can try to see uh, what accessories they got on stock uh, as far as their bed cover for that truck, man. Um, let's see what else we got. Y'all see the motion. Uh, on, the, on the 96SS, like I said, that motor and transmission is built. Y'all seen it for yourself, man. Uh, it's pretty much still new. I told him that uh, it's been sitting in that car, man. Um, I kind of want it freshened up as far as on the outside. We're just going to paint it again. Kind of, you know, give it the new look. We're going to go back up under the hood. Um, clean it all up. Pressure wash it. Clean it up. I'm probably going to paint a little bit up under there. You know, put that little gloss on it. And then we're going to go ahead and drop it back in. And, uh, and uh, go on and get ready to have it wired on up. It'll be ready to go. I couldn't remember if I did a 60 LS swap in there or a 5.3. I know I had like three of each. So, so yeah. Um, let's see what else. Uh, order. Uh, we did some ordering for the MC. So, um, Monte Carlo. Oh, uh, did some ordering and everything for the MC. So I got some more LS stuff coming in for it. You know, the the right water pump and you know stuff like that. <clears throat> let's see what else. Um, Got to go get spark plugs for both of the LSs. So I'll do it tomorrow. But I did uh, hit my partner up, man. Um, uh, Mr. Super uh, Super uh, Car Body Man. Um, he's um, he's going to paint the vet for me. He the one did the very first vet. Uh, he's a master at fiberglass. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, man, try to patch over fiberglass. Or you try to bond over fiberglass. And it don't work. You know what I'm saying? Especially on them, on those Corvettes, it don't work. You know what I'm saying? I didn't seen it. I didn't seen the best. Say, man, I can fix that spot. It'll never, you'll never know it was there. And after about three to six months, the sun, Alabama heat beating down on that paint, man, you'll be able to see exactly where that crack was in that fiberglass. Instead of him fiberglassing over it, doing it the right way, he didn't, he didn't bond old. It, it, it just don't turn out right. So... I'm going to go ahead and probably take it on up to him, man, and let him go on and spray me up real nice. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I did, like I said, I jumped up. Uh, we, we got in contact with each other, man. He actually got an opening. So uh, it's a great possibility I might be shooting it up there this week. This week. I got with my partner, man, about the, uh, the, the tips, the exhaust tips and, and the uh, foot rails and everything. Um... You know, I think he'll be gold plating them uh, next week. Uh, I don't know. I didn't get with uh, with Damon today, with D about the tires, if they came in or not. But if not, they'll definitely be in Tuesday. And then, you know, we'll be getting ready to rim up uh, 
the Silverado, you know what I'm saying? The Silverado, we gonna the Silverado name, once we put the wheels on and she come back out the paint shop, Silverado gonna be named the Silver Bullet. Off the off the rip, Silver Bullet. So um um I appreciate everybody jumping in the comments, man, trying to help me name name the big dooley, man. Uh I, but to be honest with y'all, man, a lot of y'all saying the same name, though. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of digging it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody say, uh, I heard uh, Pearly. I heard Miss Pearl. You know what I'm saying? And then I heard Big Pearl. You know what I'm saying? Call her Big Pearl. So, uh, so yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. But, um, so, uh, I'm going to announce it, man. We're going to probably have it. We're going to put it. We're going to put something in stone probably by the end of the week, man. Uh, let y'all know what we're going to name the Big Dooley truck, man. You know what I'm saying? But y'all keep jumping in the comments. Keep throwing them at me, man. I'm, I'm digging what I'm hearing. So um, uh, that's what we got going on so far this week, man. Um, I think we got a show coming up. I think it's a show this weekend. I want to say it's a show this weekend in Montgomery. I can't remember. Is it the 5th or the 12th? I can't remember, man. But I'm going to jump. I'm going to do my research, man, and find out if we got a show this weekend and if I'm going to be able to get on up there to catch the show, man. But, uh. Till tomorrow, man. Big Rod Chevy. I'm checking out.